As Michael Bubbly's coach debut on The Voice Season 26 is officially underway alongside Reba Missentire, Gwen Stefani, and Snoop Dogg, he's already proven he's ready to lead his team to victory. And that's no surprise when you look back at his long catalog of performances and duets. From Christmas classics to new pop hits, the Grammy-winning artist has performed with many of the greats over the years. Some of Bubbly's best duets and music collaborations date back to the early days of his career, and one even features Oscar-winning actress Reese Witherspoon. Read on to revisit the catchiest and most popular duets Michael Bublé has released so far. Bubbly teamed up with Nelly Furtado for this romantic jazzy song, included on his 2005 album It's Time. Bublé put his own soulful spin on Quando, 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 which translates to When, When, When in English. The song was originally released in 1962 by Italian singer Tony Rainis and has been covered by many artists beyond Bublé, including Fergie and Will Lamb. Released in 2024, Bubbly said in a TikTok that Spicy Margarita, on Jason Derulo's New King album, is one of the hottest songs I've ever been a part of, it slaps. While this is the first time the two artists have worked together, and fans may have been surprised by the collaboration, Bubbly told People that he and Derulo have actually known each other for years. Jason and I have been friends since 2013, so there was always hope that we'd work together, he said. Featured on Bubbly's ninth album, Nobody But Me, Someday was written by Megan Trainer and Harry Styles. Trainer also lent her recognizable vocals to the 2016 pop track, singing lyrics like Someday Maybe When We're Old and Gray Slash, We Could Be In Love Once More with Bubbly. A list of Bubbly's best duets would not be complete without a Christmas song. Bubbly and the Papini Sisters, featuring singers Marcella Papini, Kate Mullins, and Emma Smith, put a jazzy spin on the holiday classic Jingle Bells. You can find this collaboration on Bubbly's first 2011 holiday-specific album, simply titled Christmas. Reese Witherspoon sang with Michael Bublé. What? Like it's hard? That's right. You can hear the Legally Blonde star's singing voice on Bublé's 2013 song, Something Stupid, on his eighth studio album, To Be Loved. Bubbly told Ryan Seacrest that Witherspoon was so prepared in the studio and nailed it in just one take, per E! News. Originally released in 1947 by French singer Edith Piaf, Bubbly's version of the romantic single features counter-melodies in French, sung by jazz vocalist Cécile McLaurin Salvant. Bubbly said in a video on his YouTube channel that La Vie en Rose, featured on his 2018 album Love, is a tribute to his wife, Louisana Lopolato. I had a vision, a strong vision in that song to mirror the relationship between my wife and I. Featured on Bubbly's 2022 album Hire, which won a Grammy for Best Traditional Pop Album the following year, Crazy was plucked from Willie Nelson's own discography. The country icon wrote the song in 1961, and it was first made popular by Patsy Cline. Nelson released his own version a year later. Bubbly told Forbes that working with Nelson was one of those scratch-it-off-the-bucket-list opportunities. Bubbly teamed up with Boys Eye Men for an upbeat, bluesy duet on his 2007 album Call Me Irresponsible. Mel Thorne's version of Comin' Home Baby, released in 1962, the first with vocals, became a top hit at the time and the song's popularity is still strong today. Featured on his 2018 album Love, Bubbly sang the classic country song Help Me Make It Through the Night as a duet with Lauren Allred who was an artist on season 3 of The Voice, as well as America's Got Talent, Fantasy Lee in 2024. In a video on his YouTube channel, Bubbly said he discovered Allred's singing voice while watching The Greatest Showman and tracked her down for this duet. I had a serious voice crush, Bubbly said. You never know who these people are when they come into the studio. Many times you haven't met them. And she walked in, and she was more than I could have ever hoped for. A collaboration for the ages. Bubbly sang with country icon Dolly Parton on a cozy holiday song on her 2020 album, A Holly Dolly Christmas, which also features songs with Miley Cyrus, Jimmy Fallon, and Willie Nelson. Parton originally wrote Cuddle Up, Cozy Down Christmas, to be about snuggling with your kids, but later decided to make it more of a love song. I thought, well, I need to make this into a more romantic thing. She told American songwriter, so I did, 
and I cuddled up with Michael Bublé on this one. He did a great job on it. So it made it sexy. I can only fantasize cuddling up and cozying down with him. Michael Bublé is renowned for his silky smooth voice, timeless jazz and pop standards, and a charm that has made him a global favorite. However, Part of what makes Bubbly's musical journey so special is his ability to collaborate with artists from different genres, ages, and backgrounds. His duets are more than just performances. They're moments where his versatility as an artist truly shines. Whether sharing the stage with pop superstars, country legends, or his jazz contemporaries, Bubbly has a way of making each collaboration memorable, breathing new life into every song he touches. Throughout his career, Bublé has collaborated with a wide range of artists, spanning generations and genres. In this exploration of his best duets, we'll take a journey through some of his most iconic and unexpected pairings, featuring pop stars, country legends, and more. Each dude reveals a different side of Bublé, showcasing his ability to adapt and excel in any musical context. When two powerhouse vocalists like Michael Bublé and Barbara Streisand come together, the result is nothing short of magical. Their rendition of the classic jazz standard, It Had To Be You, is a masterclass in vocal performance, with both artists seamlessly blending their distinctive styles into one beautiful, harmonious whole. Streisand's powerful, emotive voice pairs perfectly with Bubbly's smooth crooning, creating a timeless toot that feels like a warm embrace. What makes this collaboration special is the mutual respect and admiration between the two artists. Streisand, a legend in her own right, praised Bublé for his impeccable phrasing and emotional depth. While Bublé has often spoken about how much he has looked up to Streisand throughout his career, together, they elevate this classic song to new heights, turning it into a love letter to the golden age of American standards. One of Bublé's most beloved songs, Home, became even more special when he teamed up with country star Blake Shelton for a dude version. The song, originally released in 2005, is a heartfelt ballad about the longing for home and the comforts of love. While Bubbly's original version is tender and emotional, the dude with Shelton adds a layer of country warmth that makes the song feel even more universal. Shelton's deep, soulful voice complements Bubbly's smooth vocals perfectly, and the two singers' contrasting styles blend together beautifully. Their duet of home brings together the worlds of jazz and country in a way that feels organic and heartfelt. The song's themes of love, longing, and homecoming resonate deeply in both genres, and the chemistry between Bublé and Shelton shines through in every note. Pop sensation Megan Trainer and Michael Bublé may come from different musical worlds, but their collaboration on the song Someday proves that great music transcends genres. Written by Trainer, Someday is a romantic, optimistic duet about two people who are destined to be together, despite the challenges they face. The song's catchy melody and upbeat rhythm make it the perfect platform for Trainer's playful pop style and Bubbly's classic crooner charm. What makes this duet stand out is the chemistry between Trainer and Bubbly. Their voices blend effortlessly, and the song's playful, flirty vibe feels genuine and fun. Bubbly's ability to adapt to Trainer's modern pop sensibilities, while still maintaining his signature style, is a testament to his versatility as an artist. Someday is a feel-good anthem for romantics everywhere, and it's clear that both Trainer and Bublé had a blast recording.